<laughs> I think he likes Hero. Now's your chance, Kai. It's a little dark here, so I'll have to raise the flash. Say cheese. No! Hit subscribe and click the like icon. I can't see a thing! Uh, is, is everybody all right? I'm fine. Just a little blinded. What was that bright flash of light? Leo, Katie, I'm so sorry. I thought you guys were rare animals. Uh, hi, Hero. Are you all right? You should have known it was you, Kai. Why did you ask us to meet you here? There's an animal photography competition coming up. I need your help to find a rare, beautiful animal so I can take the winning photo. But what's with the drone and the blinding flash? Oh, this is the Chimera 1000. Cool. <laughs> Did you guys see that? What was that? That's my winning photo. Come on, Chimera 1000, do your thing. Let's see. It's just a bunch of colors. The photo looks blurred. We should remove the motion blur to see what's really there. Hmm, fine. I'll see what I can do. But I'm telling you, we're looking at a photo of an actual... Huh? What type of bird is it? Send the photo to me, Kai. I'll search for more information. Sure, Katie. One photo of the bird coming right up. It seems the bird is a male golden pheasant. Male golden pheasants are really colorful, while female golden pheasants are just brown in color. Golden pheasants are clumsy flyers. They prefer running instead of flying and spend most of their time on the ground. Some believe that golden pheasants bring good luck. <laughs> That'll get me a first prize. I must take a photo of the golden pheasant. But how are we going to find him? From what we've seen, he's pretty quick. Huh? What's that, Hero? A feather? Not just any feather. It belongs to the golden pheasant. Look, more feathers. I bet if we follow these feathers, they'll lead us right to him. No, the golden pheasant can't be seen in any of the photos. That's OK. I'm sure we'll find him again. We'll get you your winning photo. Thanks, Leo. But the only way we can take a picture of him is if he stays still. Hmm. What if we got him to dance instead? Dance? It says here that when a male golden pheasant wants to get the attention of a female golden pheasant, it dances. That's another way to stop him from running. But where are we going to find a female golden pheasant? That's him! Hide! It worked! He's approaching Hero! Okay, Hero, it's all up to you now. Try to look friendlier. He's getting closer! Can you try shaking your feathers, Hero? <laughs> I think he likes Hero! Now's your chance, Kai! It's a little dark here, so I'll have to raise the flash. Say cheese! No! Ranger Rocky! Ranger Rocky! <laughs> no! My winning photo! Where did the pheasant go? It's up in the trees, Leo. You see, golden pheasants are timid and shy. They might not be able to fly gracefully, but when startled, they can jump upwards really quickly. But why did you stop me from taking a photo of it? It wasn't the photo that was the problem. It was the flash. Golden pheasants can lose their colors if they're exposed to light for too long. Your camera flash might last for only a second, but for a bird that lives outdoors, every second makes a difference. I'll be on my way now, Junior Rangers. But remember, 
No flash photography allowed. Got it. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger, Rocky. Ranger Rocky. So that's why the golden pheasant runs from bush to bush. Not only does he have to stay out of the light, he's always afraid. And we sure didn't help. Let's make it up to the pheasant, Rangers. Just have to turn this on, and it's done. Great. But what is it? And how is this going to help the golden pheasant get around the forest? Presenting the Kymaflage Cloak. It creates an energy field that reflects whatever's around you, so you blend right in. It'll protect the pheasant from light rays, and it grants him the power of invisibility. Wow! No way! Prepare to be amazed. All you have to do is click your feet together like this. <gasps> he disappeared! <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> Your camouflage cloak is amazing, Kai! Now you can turn invisible whenever you like. You don't have to be afraid anymore. You can even walk under the sun. So, can I take a photo of you now? I promise, no flash. Uh-oh. The pheasant used the camouflage cloak on us. Oh, no. How are we going to find him now? He's invisible. Come out. I thought we had a deal. How are we going to take a photo of an invisible bird? Careful, Leo. That doesn't look very stable. Do you need our help? No, thanks, Katie. I can do this alone. As long as I'm very, very careful. <gasps> no! <sighs> I'll get it next time. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hi, Leo. Zumi has created a bit of a situation. She destroyed a giant nest. Uh-oh. Are the birds all right? They are, but they are mad. Just look at their angry faces. What should we do, Leo? We should help them rebuild their giant nest, of course. Little birds with a giant nest? I have to see this. Now let's see what we've got here. These birds are called sociable weavers. Wow, that's a huge nest. It sure is, Leo. Sociable weavers build one of the largest nests. The biggest sociable weaver's nests can hold up to 400 birds with close to 100 nesting chambers. Some nests have been around for 100 years. The nest also sees plenty of guests. Other bird species, like the pygmy falcon, use the sociable weaver's nest for its own home. Vultures and eagles would rest on the wide roof. Other animals also use the nest for shade. Whoa, it's not just a nest. It brings animals together. Come on, Katie, let's check this out. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Who are we hiding from? <sighs> Angry birds. Cheer up, Zumi. We'll help you make it up to the weavers. Where is the nest anyway? All the way over there. Let's go. Oh, come on. I'm sure the sociable weavers are not that mad. Ow, ow, stop that! I was wrong! They're really mad! Ow! Please! We're just here to help! Let's retreat for now! They're leaving? <sighs> Is it over? Why did they return to their nest all of a sudden? Snakes! I see them! They're after the eggs. Come on, Rangers. We've got to help protect the eggs. Here, Katie, take my grabber. You and Hero get the eggs to safety. On it, Leo. Jetpack activate. <laughs> Jane, Zumi, activate plan dust storm. Got it. Jetpack activate. <laughs> for you. Off you go now. It's working. The snakes are irritated by the dust. Nice work, Rangers. No sweat. There. 
The eggs should be safe here. But we can't keep the eggs here forever. We'll have to rebuild the nest as soon as possible. This looks like a big job. Speaking of big, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. My, my, what do we have here? I see. If you'd like to rebuild the nest, there's something you should know. Sociable weavers work together to build their huge nest. While most weaver birds build nests by intertwining twigs and dry grasses together, like weaving a basket, sociable weavers tend to stack them. They continue to add more material to their nest until it becomes a huge mega nest. These hardworking birds don't put up with lazy or selfish behaviors either. Lazy sociable weavers may be chased away. It's a big job, but it's possible if we work together. <laughs> I have to leave now, but my friend would like to lend you rangers a hand. Or a trunk. Awesome! Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Come on, rangers. Let's work together with the weavers to rebuild the nest. All right. <laughs> Nice and easy. Okay, you go here. Over here, sociable weavers. Over there. Slowly. Come, Zumi. Jetpack activate. <laughs> Ahem. We could really use your help. I'm gonna need more twigs over here! <coughs> Thanks! It's coming together perfectly! I think we're about done! Katie, what's the final stage? We return the eggs, of course! Will you do the honors, Mr. Elephant? We are here. Wow! Where does this river lead to, Jane? Hmm, I am not sure. Huh? Guys, look! A pink lizard! But lizards aren't pink. Do you think it's sick? What if it has a fever? Let's not jump to conclusions, Leo. <laughs> You're right. Smile! I've sent you its photo, Katie. Can you find out more about it? I'm already on it. Oh, it's not your average lizard. It's a panther chameleon. Panther chameleons can change the color of their skin. They can blend in with their surroundings to camouflage themselves. The chameleons mostly change colors to reflect their mood, communicate with other chameleons, and to warm up or cool down. Oh, so it isn't sick after all. It just changed its color to pink. Yep, panther chameleons prefer to live on their own and can get aggressive towards other chameleons invading their home. Males will become more vibrant in color when competing with other males. Hey, it's another chameleon. Uh-oh. <gasps> they both want the same tree. But there are plenty of trees around. What if we host a friendly competition for them? Whoever wins gets the tree fair and square. No fighting. Round one. The chameleon that changes the most colors in one minute wins. May the best chameleon win. Two, one. Time's up. And the winner of round one is the pink, no, red chameleon. Yay! All right, we'll win the next round. But what's next? Let's see. 
According to my research, chameleons have eyes that can move in two directions at the same time. Hmm, fascinating. They also have very sticky tongues. Their tongues can be twice as long as their bodies when stretched out to catch insects. Cool! That gives me a tongue-tastic idea. The first chameleon who catches the spider with its long sticky tongue wins. Three, two, one, go! Come and get it! Over there! Whoa! It's right there! Almost! So close! Yes! Now! Oops! <laughs> to Platypus One. Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus One, activate. Oh no! Let's split off. Katie and Hero, you guys go after the red chameleon. Jane, Zumi, and I will follow the blue one. Got it. Jetpack, activate. We got this. Coming for you! Just a little closer. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? What? And what are you guys up to? We're trying to rescue a panther chameleon that fell into the water. Oh dear, they're not known to be strong swimmers. Yes, panther chameleons are great grabbers. They have large toes on their hands and feet, as well as a prehensile tail that helps them cling onto branches. I trust you rangers to rescue the chameleon. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Onwards. The red chameleon has to be here somewhere. Do you see it, Hero? Wait for me, Hero. Strange. We followed the river all the way downstream. But where's the blue chameleon? Leo, do you think it might have drowned? Don't worry. I'm sure it's all right. We'll find it. I know we will. Oh, good job, Hero. There you are. You're safe now. There's some driftwood up ahead. Let's see if it's there. Hey, guys. Look who we found. Welcome back. Did you find the blue chameleon? Nope. But it has to be here somewhere. Let's just continue to look. Got it, Leo. I found it! Oh, false alarm. It's all right. Keep at it, Rangers. Huh? What's wrong? Are you trying to tell me something? <gasps> it's over here! The red chameleon found its buddy! Oh, yeah, I see it. You know, chameleons turn a darker shade when they're stressed out. Aww. There you go. Home sweet home. They are friends now. No more fighting. Legends say that a ferocious river monster lives in the waters right below us. And I'm going to find it. No! I'm not scared! <laughs> Ranger Pale, what's going on? Hi, Leo. I'm stuck in the middle of a river, and there's a giant monster fish in the water. A giant monster fish? Yeah, here's a picture of it. <gasps> Whoa, it does look scary. I don't know, Leo. We can't see it clearly. 
Let's clean up the image on the computer. Good idea, Katie. I'm right behind you. And there. The fishes in the water are red-bellied piranhas. Oh, no. Please come get me. Of course, Peo. Stay put and we'll be right over. Thanks, Leo. See you soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. Peo, Pico, we're here. Leo, Katie, I'm so glad you found us. Good to see you, Peo. Reach for my hand and climb aboard. <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Ah! Oh, no! Hey! I got you, Peo. <laughs> That was close. What is it, Hero? <gasps> There's a piranha on your back, Teo! Ah! Get off my back! Shoot! Ah! Leo, it's over there! Get it! Get it! I know! I'm trying to grab it! Get away from me! I'll get it! Ugh. Is it gone? I think so. Huh? What's that sound? Is it a snake? <gasps> no! It's worse! Platypus One is sinking! We're sinking! Ah! Oh, no! What should we do? Quick, Leo! Activate submarine mode! Right! I'm on it! Platypus One, activate! <sighs> We're safe now! I can't really see where we're going. The water's so murky. Switch on the lights, Leo. Oh, right. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yikes! The piranhas are following us! <laughs> ah! Let's use flight mode. They can't follow us if we're in the air. Flight mode, activate. Huh? Uh, it's not working. Oh, no! Platypus One must still be broken. Come on, come on, work. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! What's happening? Ah! Ah! I can't control it! I don't want to die! Ah! Ah! It's coming for us! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! <sighs> what a ride! What is it, Hero? Whoa! Piranha! Ah! Oh, no! Not again! Stand back, Junior Rangers! Ranger Rocky! I got it! Back into the water you go! Thanks, Ranger Rocky! I thought we'll get attacked by the piranha for sure! They are river monsters! I don't know about that, but it was really scary! Actually, piranhas are not as scary as you may think, Junior Rangers. Red-bellied piranhas may not be cute and cuddly, but they are also not the monsters that TV shows and movies make them out to be. We've misunderstood them. I guess we just have to be careful around the red-bellied piranhas. That's right. Stay away and don't provoke them. Ugh, what's that smell? And I don't mean the flowers, Katie. It's coming from over there. Hey, you! You're definitely getting closer. It's... Hero! Stay, Hero. Good boy. When was the last time Hero had a bath? I think it was... Hmm... Um... Oops. <laughs> I don't remember. Come on, Hero. It's bath time. <laughs> Hero, come back! You need a bath! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's new? Hi, Leo. I'm updating my smell collection. I've been collecting different smells of animals and plants to use as smell bombs. Wow, sounds awesome! It is! I'd like to add the smell of a red panda to my collection. We'd be glad to help. Cool beans! Thanks, Leo. Ranger out! Ranger out. Hero's bath will have to wait, Katie. Kai needs our help to find red pandas for his smell collection. Red pandas? I'm sure the computer will give us more information. Red panda. 
Here it is. Even though they're called red pandas, they don't look anything like pandas. While both pandas share similar names and eat lots of bamboo, they're not closely related to each other. Does it say where we can find them? Red pandas can be found in the eastern Himalayan forests. They spend most of their time in trees. I'll tell Kai about what we found. Hi, Leo. Did you guys find anything? We sure did. Red pandas can be found in the trees of the eastern Himalayan forest, and they eat bamboo. So we'll have to search for a forest with lots of them. Great! I'll narrow down the search and send you a location. Ranger out! Ranger out! Hi, Hi Kai! Hi, guys! This is the perfect spot to begin our search. There's bamboo everywhere. <laughs> Ew! What's that smell? A uh, hero hasn't had a bath in a while. <laughs> well, it's a very strong smell. I've never smelled anything like it. Speaking of smells, we should really begin our search for the red pandas. Of course, red pandas. But what now? Which way should we go? Do you guys hear that? Is that a red panda? <laughs> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? We're helping Kai look for red pandas so he can collect their smell. But we don't know where to start. Like skunks, red pandas release a strong smell to drive others away when they are afraid. I believe that's the stink Kai is looking for. Red pandas also use their smell to mark their territories. They leave a smell behind to inform others that the area belongs to them. Good idea, Hero. We can trace a red panda by the smell it leaves behind. I'll use my smell detection vision to find the red pandas. The smell detection vision detects the chemicals present in different animal smells. Right now, it's searching for the red pandas. Got it! Over there, guys! Bye, Ranger Rocky! The smell is strongest here! It's a red panda! Cool beans! Time to get it stink! <gasps> it's headed this way! <gasps> Oh, man! It's your new smell bomb, an earthworm. I already have that one. I just want the red panda stink. What if we tried getting closer to it? Jetpack, activate! Hey, wait for me! Hover boots, activate! It's just sleeping. How can we get it to release its stink? Ranger Rocky did mention that the red pandas release their strong smell when they're afraid. <laughs> Hero, it's not right to frighten the red panda like that. But do you smell that? It worked! That's the smell I'm looking for! Be careful, Kai. Yes, the red panda stink has been successfully added to my collection. Stay away! There's nothing for you in my backpack! Oh no! Katie is in trouble! What are those animals up to? No worries! The red panda stink would ward them off! One red panda smell bomb coming right up! What's going on, Kai? Where's the smell bomb? It's not shooting! I don't understand! There's nothing wrong with my smell bomb! I'll take that! Hang tight, Katie, and hold your breath. Yay, we did it! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Something is coming. Huh? What's coming? <gasps> it is here. Sandstorm! Sandstorm! Everybody, get into Platypus 1. Katie, activate the window shield. Wait, where's Hero? <gasps> Hero! I'll find him. Hurry, get inside. Got it. Hero! Hero! Where are you? <laughs> Hero! I'm coming for you. Stay put. I've got him. Let's go. Head east. 
There is a cave where we can take shelter. Got it. Everybody okay? Yep. We sure are. I'm glad we got out of that sandstorm in time. You okay, Hero? You scared us. <laughs> huh? huh? That's not Hero. Oh no! I grabbed the wrong animal. I'm so sorry, but what are you? And what's with those enormous ears? Over here. I sent you a photo of it, Katie. Can you find out more? Sure, Leo. That is a fennec fox. The fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world. And it lives in the desert. But Hero isn't, and he's out there alone. Sandstorm or not, we've got to go back for him. Let's go! What are you waiting for, Jane? Come on! <sighs> we are too late. <gasps> Uh-oh. How are we going to get out now? We are trapped. This cave goes on forever. Maybe there's another exit. <sighs> but I can barely see ahead. It's too dark. Just use a torchlight. <gasps> Good thinking. Who's there? Just me. Huh? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? How did you get in here, Ranger Rocky? I was caught in the sandstorm and found this cave. I entered from another entrance. Then let's head there immediately. But much like this one, it's now blocked. Oh no! Do you know how to get out of here, Ranger Rocky? We have to find Hero. Hero? Huh? Where is he? I wanted to grab Hero and escape the sandstorm, but I grabbed a fennec fox instead. Well, we can all take a lesson from your new buddy and dig our way out. Then what are we waiting for? Let's start digging! All right! Would you like a shovel, Ranger Rocky? No thanks, Katie. I'll just do it Fennec Fox style. Jane? <laughs> Same here. All right, Rangers. Let's get out of here! Ah, it feels great to be out of that cave. The sandstorm has stopped. Now let's go find Hero. I trust that you're in good hands, Junior Rangers. If anyone can help you find Hero, it's the Fennec Fox. Besides its ability to dig, it also has great hearing and a keen sense of smell. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. What do you say we take you back and find Hero together? We could really use your help. <laughs> Hero! Hero! <laughs> the Fennec Fox found something. What is it? <gasps> it's Hero's backpack! Look, a burrow. Wait, come back. We need your help. Don't worry. We won't lose him. Good thinking, Katie. Where's it going? <gasps> Baby fennec foxes. So it wasn't looking for Hero after all. Hold up. Hero! Hero! You're okay. I'm sorry I left you behind. We would not have found Hero without the Fennec Fox's help. Thank you. And I'm really sorry I grabbed you by mistake. <laughs> it seems Hero made new friends while we were gone. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Fennec, Fennec Foxes! Foxes. Katie! Ah! Oh. 
Daddy, are you okay? Yeah. Thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. I found two baby elephants playing by the river. But one of them looks sad. Just look at this photo. What? A sad baby elephant? We can't have that. We need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Can you and Katie come over to help me do that? Of course, Jane. We'll be there right away. Great. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's see if we can find any relevant information about them. Right behind you, Katie. Here it is. The African bush elephant. African bush elephants are the world's largest land mammal. An average elephant can weigh up to 6,000 kilograms and measure up to 3.3 meters high. Wow, it's so much taller than Ranger Rocky. Elephants are known for their trunks, large ears, and ivory tusks. Their large ears help them stay cool. And unlike us, elephants can flap their ears. You mean like this? <laughs> Without using your hands, Leo. But it made you laugh. Hey, I know how to cheer the baby elephant up. There they are. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zoomy. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Are those the elephants, Jane? Yes, they are brothers. Their younger brother is the one that is upset. The younger brother kind of reminds me of you, Katie. Uh-huh. Oh, here they come. Gee, thanks. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, no! Is there something wrong with his trunk? Yeah. Is that why he's sad? There's nothing wrong with it. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Elephants use their trunks to smell, grab food, and take dust baths. They also use them to suck up water, then spray it into their mouths to drink. African elephants have two finger-like growths at the tip of their trunks that allow them to grab smaller objects. So elephant trunks are pretty important. But baby elephants must first learn how to use them. Aww, the younger elephant is sad because he's not as good as his brother. Then let's teach him how to use his trunk. What a lovely idea. Good luck with that, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Go on, give it a try. Put your trunk in the water, then suck. Aww. It's okay. Let's try again. Huh? Whoa, that's a lot of water. He's like a fountain. Hey! <gasps> Where are you going? Come back! It's wrong to show off like that. It's okay. Your brother knows he's wrong. We can help you with your trunk. Slow down. Huh? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no. He is trapped. Hang on. We'll get you out. Jane, you stay here with Zumi to watch him. The rest of us will get Platypus One. Got it. <gasps> oh, no. Phew. He is all right. Uh-oh. Platypus One is not powerful enough. What should we do now? He's going to the river. He is soaking up water. But what's he doing with it? If we fill the hole with water, he can swim out of there. Good thinking, buddy. Come on, Rangers. Let's give him a hand. I don't think that's enough. It's going to take forever to fill it up. We need more help. Whoa. Amazing. What's going on? He called for backup. He's instructing them. All right. It'll be filled with water in no time. Let's do this, Rangers. That should do it. 
Yes! All right. We did it! <laughs> we turned that frown upside down. Bye, Bye elephants. elephants! Well, there. Aww. He'll be fine. Big brothers can get annoying sometimes, but they'll always be there for you. Huh? Here's my painting of Hero. Whoa, that's nice. How did yours turn out, Leo? Um... <laughs> it's a little abstract. Ranger Leo speaking. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. How's the zebra migration going? Have they found fresh grass? Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. The zebras are still on the move, but a mother zebra has lost its baby in the herd. <gasps> oh, no! Luckily, I have a photo of it. Can you come over to help me find the baby? Of course, Jane. The photo will come in handy. Hang tight. We'll be right over. Cool. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Now let's go. Let's find out more about zebras. And get away from this pesky fly. Here it is. The plains zebra. Plains zebras are the most common species of zebras. Zebras are part of the horse family and they are known for their black and white stripes. Every year, thousands of zebras migrate, traveling over great distances to look for food, like fresh grasses and water. Oh boy, that's a lot of them, and they all look the same. Actually, each zebra has a different stripe pattern. No two zebras have the same stripes. Like human fingerprints, its pattern is unique, so we just have to match the stripes. And since we have a picture of the baby zebra, it'll be a snap. Hmm, stripes and patterns? I think I'll bring our paint along, just in case. Good idea, Katie. Look at all those zebras. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Hi, Kitty. Don't worry, Mama Zebra. We'll find your baby. Let's see. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stripes. Whoa, too many. Huh? Leo, are you okay? Oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> the stripes are a little confusing. Hmm, let's see what else we can find. Ouch! Not again! And I thought the fly in our backyard was bad. This fly is worse. It bites. I got it. It says here that scientists scan zebra stripes like barcodes to tell them apart. Uh-huh. So, we can do the same thing. I'll make a zebra stripe scanner. Got it. Now I just have to... Done! There is our scanner. Cool. You just have to aim it at a zebra. And it's a success if the stripes match. Aim at a zebra. Ugh, these pesky flies are getting in the way. Why aren't the flies bugging the zebras? Maybe it's because they've got stripes and you don't. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? Not only do zebra stripes look cool, we're starting to find out that it could be pretty useful, too. Scientists think that one of its functions is to confuse insects like flies, making it harder for them to land on zebras. And if they can't land, they can't bite. Nifty, don't you think? I'll be buzzing off now. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky! How are we gonna get stripes, Katie? Oh, you'll see. This is so cool! It's a good thing you brought the paint over. Hopefully this will get those flies to buzz off. Now, let's get back to looking for the baby zebra. We'll have to scan every one of them. Katie, Hero, and I will use our jetpacks to get a better view. Jane, you brought your own ride? The baby's mother insisted. <laughs> let's go, Rangers! Jetpack jet activate! activate. 
What if we scanned all the zebras at once? I'll have to use your camera, Hero. It's scanning. Let's see if we can find a match this time. Oh, what's this? It's a match. We found the baby. Yes! <gasps> Rio, no! Oops. Stampede! Huh? Oh, no. I know. Can you get to the baby? I'm sending you its coordinates. We'll take care of the herd. Got it. Stop it! Calm down! There's nothing to be afraid of! Hang in there, little one! We can't keep this up much longer! We need something to stop these zebras! Something to stop them? it be a snap? Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> huh? What was that? Excuse me. Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its hunk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. <sighs> and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe the proboscis monkey has a cold, too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Farah found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder, while proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate. Males in particular tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. I found him sitting alone. <gasps> oh, dear. I'm fine. I don't have a cold. Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? I'm not. <laughs> Choo! Check. You have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Farah. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Can you honk now? 
Oh dear, it didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey, where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! Let's follow them. Behind. Let's cheer him on, hero. Jetpack activate. <laughs> oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't honk. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? <sighs> it's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? <coughs> He's honking. <coughs> it wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. They're friends again. Bye, monkey. Have fun. <gasps> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. What are you looking at? Here, Katie. Want to have a look? Thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. How's it going? Hi, hey, Leo. I was camping on Christmas Island, and the strangest thing happened. Millions of crabs appeared out of nowhere. Millions of crabs? What are they doing? I have no idea. That's why I'm calling, Leo. It looks like they're headed somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. Here, let me send you a picture. Wow. wow! That's a lot of crabs! I can run the photo through my computer to look for more information. Sounds great, Katie. I'll get back to you once we find out more about the crabs, Kyle. Ranger out! Ranger out! All right. Let's go find out what the crabs on Christmas Island are up to. There it is. It seems those crabs are called the Christmas Island Red Crabs. The Christmas Island Red Crabs? That's right. Based on Kyle's observations, they must be migrating. The red crabs live mainly in the forest, but every year, when the rainy season begins, millions of them migrate to the beach to make babies. Before heading home, the female crabs place their eggs in the sea where they will hatch. Cool. Let me tell Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Leo. Did you find anything? Those are Christmas Island red crabs. They're migrating to the beach to make babies. Hmm, but some of them are going in different directions. What if they get lost? And what if they have to cross the road to get to the beach? <gasps> what if they get hurt? That'd be awful, Kyle. We'll come over to see how we can help guide the crabs safely to the beach. Wow, I've never seen so many crabs in one place. Hey guys, glad you can make it. Hi Kyle. Hi Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Hero is already making sure the crabs move in the right direction. Good job, Hero. What else can we do? I'll just get off right here. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. 
There are plenty of things you can do to ensure the crabs get to the beach safely and comfortably. It's important to provide the crabs with water to keep their bodies moist as they travel over the land. This prevents them from becoming dry as they're exposed to the sun's glare. We can help with that. And I know just how we can get some water on them. Jetpack, activate! Good thinking, Leo. I'll help you turn the water on. Ready when you are. Ready! They're definitely enjoying it. Here you go, crabs. Plenty of water to keep your bodies wet. Let's see what else we can help them with. Look, the crabs have to cross the road to get to the beach. Isn't that dangerous? Not to worry, Kyle. There's an underpass specially constructed to provide the crabs with a safe passage to the beach. Barricades have also been placed to direct the crabs towards the underpass. <gasps> but there's a hole in the barricade! Oh no! Some of the crabs got through the hole! They're headed straight for the road! I'll fix this, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Then we'd better get those crabs back to safety! Carefully! There you go! Just grab onto my boomerang! Okay! You can let go now. Is that all of them? Uh-oh, not quite. <gasps> we have to save that crab. We can use the jetpack, but we don't have to be the ones actually flying it. What do you mean, Katie? Put the jetpack on the ground and aim it towards the crab. I'll configure the jetpack controls from my tablet. That way, the jetpack can be activated without putting any of us in danger. Brilliant thinking, Katie. This should do it. And activate. Amazing. You did it, Katie. Good job, Junior Rangers. That was some quick thinking. The barrier has been fixed. No crabs will get onto the road now. Yay! Phew. That's great to hear, Ranger Rocky. Let's go, guys. I can hear the waves crashing. Here we are. The crabs have arrived safely. Wow, there's so many of them. From here on, they'll dig burrows and start making babies. In a month's time, the baby crabs will make their way from the sea to their new home. It will be a sight just as magnificent as this. I'm gonna come back so I can watch the baby crabs migrate. Us too. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to guide the Christmas Island red crabs safely to the beach. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. Exciting news. I just discovered a completely new breed of animal. It has the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and the tail of a beaver. Wow, that does sound very unusual. I'm gonna name it the Kylosaurus. It disappeared before I could get a picture. Oh wait, there it is again. I'm gonna try to take a photo of my amazing discovery and send it to you. Talk to you later. Ranger out. Ranger out. An animal with the bill and webbed feet of a duck the fur and body of an otter, and a... What did he say again? A tail like a beaver. Hmm, that animal sounds familiar. Okay. It's a platypus. Platypus. The platypus, also known as the duck-billed platypus, looks like an otter, but it has a duck bill, webbed feet, and a tail like a beaver. Here's another unusual fact about the platypus. While other mammals give birth to their young, platypuses are one of the few mammals who lay eggs instead. Hi, Kyle. Guys, I think the Kylosaurus, I mean the platypus, wants me to follow it. What is it, buddy? You want to show me something? But my ATV can't go into the water. But our Jeep, the platypus one can. Sounds like the platypus needs help. 
Send us your location, Kyle. We'll be right over. On it. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. No worries. They'll be here soon. That's them. In their very own platypus. Hey, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime, Kyle. All right, buddy. Lead the way. Wow, it's quick. Then we better keep up. Platypus one, activate. How can something that walks so slowly swim so quickly? Platypuses are able to swim gracefully underwater by paddling with their front webbed feet and steering with their hind feet and tail. Uh-oh. Hang on, guys. Rough water's ahead. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! That was close. Uh, help! Kyle! Oh, no! Kyle fell in the water. Katie, take the wheel. Got it, Leo. Kyle, I'm gonna throw you a rope. Just grab hold of it and we'll pull you in. Roger that. Hero, get the rope and give it to me. Kyle, quick, grab the rope and tie it around your boomerang, then throw it to me. Here it comes. Oh, no. Got it. Just a little more. Grab my head, Kyle. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> and thank you, Hero. Is everybody all right? You bet. A little water never hurt nobody. Hey, where's the platypus? Look, it's over there. It just went underwater for a bit. Let's follow that platypus. Hi, hi, Captain. Hey, it stopped. What's it doing to that tree trunk? It looks like it's trying to get to something behind it. What's behind the tree, little buddy? I bet that the platypus is trying to get to her young inside her burrow. Ranger Rocky! Rocky! Platypuses live in burrows found along lakes, rivers, and streams. They prefer to build their burrows on banks with roots or beneath dense vegetation or rocks making it hard to spot. The fallen tree must be blocking the entrance to her burrow. That's why she needs our help. Let's hook that tree to Platypus One and get it out of the way. Ranger Rocky, do you think you can help us with the winch? Of course, Junior Rangers. I'll help too. Stand clear. was a burrow there. We did it! I hope everything is okay in there. Good thinking, Hero. Now let's see where she went. Baby platypuses! We did it! We reunited the platypus family. The platypus has got to be one of the strangest creatures ever. I just wish I had discovered it first. Don't worry, Kyle. I'm sure you'll discover an animal that's just as cool. Guys, do you see that? Is it a worm? Is it a bug? I think it might be a new species. I'm going to call it the Kyla Pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon.